Wow. Whoever designed that did a really, really good job. I like it a lot. It's a good one. It's a good one. Oh yeah, it's good. Alright game. Got enough time. Load. Load now. I said load, bitch. There it goes. Alright, so, um, there's quite a bit of shit on the screen, as you can see. Uh, none of this really matters too horribly much, as this is pretty much a HUDless situation here. Let me get right into it and walk, well, float, like a, uh, goddamn astronaut. Right up in here. Press this button, open me door. Press this button, close me door. This would be the room to the control, well, the door to the control room. Uh, there is no control room yet. Uh, yeah. So, we've got the, the main reactor room here. We've got four reactors behind glass. We have a little access hatch in the ceiling in case I need to get in here and actually repair something without breaking the glass. And I'm floating. It looks like I need a gravity generator on this side. Um, didn't even so, in this spot right here, you can see that I've got a little screen that says Reactor 1, 2, 3, and 4. They're all online. Now, if I were to jump into my system here and go and jump up to the main reactors, find them a little bit easier. If I toggle this off and this off, you can see now, as it updates, that it shows that two of them are offline. Now I can remedy this situation by hitting the cycle main reactor button. Oop, they're all on now. And I can also turn them off with the main reactor's off button. Uh, don't really want to do that. Uh, kind of a pain in the ass to turn back on. Um, although, I guess, since this is just a little We'll go ahead and put a little reactor right here, so I can show you what happens when I turn them off. They all turn red, everything goes blank. Um, my program is picking up my fifth reactor, which means I actually need to work on the script for that. But, it's fine, for right now. Turn that back on, wait for it to update, or I can hit this button right here and refresh now. Uh, this is no longer under load matter. I'm going to spawn a few jump drives, if I can find them on my list here. Oh, damn it. Okay. Jump drives. I'll just uh, make a row of them. Fuck it. As you can see, they're all going to start charging, and that is going to create a huge load but a load on my reactors that you can see. Now that you can see these little bars here, that is the percentage of how much of that reactor is being used at the moment. So I'm using about, I want to say 20% of each reactor. They automatically will uh, distribute between which ones the most. Um, and the jump drives only suck in so much power at a time anyway, so that's why I had to put so many of them down. Now if I go over here, didn't save my gyroscope settings, what the fuck? If I go down here to my main reactors again, select two of them, turn two off, you can see very soon that number starts to rise. And that's because it's calculating just how much is needed out of that particular one to give energy to everything that's requesting it. So, like, there's, you know, 
a few jump drives here. You, you'd never realistically have this many. And so you, you don't really need to worry too much about something like that. But you may have thrusters going. Uh, that could be a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the reactors all back on. Go ahead and cycle them just for funsies. Now, we're going to experience the... Uh, the defense systems here. The sensor isn't currently detecting me because it's not sent to detect the owner. However, I can set it to detect Warning, the owner real quick. Enemy detected. You can hear it. Warning, enemy detected. This little interior turret pops on and it would start targeting all characters in this little area right now. Uh, right here. And in one minute time, uh, that will turn off the sound block will turn off, this little antenna I set off to uh, let myself know in case I'm deaf for some reason, either explosions are going on or whatever, that there is in fact a, an infiltrator in the reactor, and it says poo at the beginning because that's my faction. Um, let's see. What else is there that's exciting about this? Um, I can turn on and off the conveyor system click of a button, just turn everything off for funsies, and you can watch everything go dark. And these are no longer being charged, the lights have gone off, the Gatling turret's disabled, everything on the ship is off, because these are the only reactors on the ship. And now that I've got the reactors back on, my gravity comes back. I'm gonna open this door. Close this door. Open this door. And what's in here? Ooh, it's exciting, kind of. Except it's gonna get too exciting if this piece of shit comes anywhere near me. Okay, so that's gone. Uh, I've got another little room going here. It's the stability room. We've got a wall of gyroscopes and a couple of thrusters pointing each direction. There's a little hole in the wall for the ones that are facing down, and so the one facing up doesn't do damage at the same time. A um, little gravity generator. I consider that stability, so I think that goes in that room. Uh, this is the top of where the thrusters are. They're going to have to poke up. Uh, look at my uh, space station little character. It won't be so cubey, so I just kind of let it happen little access hatch in case I gotta get in here and I also need to paint this particular color on the ground to let myself and others know that oh dear I seem to have uh, miscalculated the size of this room these are supposed to be doing damage to this block right here that could be bad in the future, I'll have to pay attention to that. Um, but, put little red paint spots down, let myself know. If the thrusters are on, I'm gonna get fucking fried. Uh, don't wanna be there. And then there's a couple of gyroscopes I had to take out because, uh, another miscalculation. Not the best engineer in the world, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, that's the ship so far. I got a little spotlight in here and like do a little showcasing on my my uh, leaning tower of not leaning. I'm fucking funny. Fuck off. Uh, and you can kind of see it from here. It's a nice little showcase. That's pretty much the whole space station so far, but it will eventually be much much larger. Oh yeah, and that's the conveyor system on top too, so that's fun. That's base comes with the map. Anyway, that's all.